Alright guys, weird and discontinued snacks. Let's check it out. This is by Dream Jelly, whoever this is. I'm not sure if their name uh, references like jellyfish or just like uh, the food. But we got a store in the desert. That is not realistic, sir. As an American living in Australia, going to the grocery store sometimes still feels like a bit of a culture shock to me. Not <laughs> everything is unfamiliar, but between the random product name changes, wide variety of meat pies, and- I'm wondering what- guys, where I live in America, yeah, there ain't no meat, meat pies. There ain't no meat pies. And the plain absence of some of my favorite foods, one thing I've realized I miss the most about America is... Snacks. You'd free rabies. This exact truck. <laughs> Man, trucks are dangerous, bro. But I do want a truck one day. Snacks. The snacks. It's not like there aren't nice snacks in Australia, but I'd say it's a pretty well known fact that a lot of American food products are pretty different, to say the least, for better. Bro, uh, uh, we gotta try those one day, man. Better or for worse. But this pining for the taste of a cosmic brownie or pack of Scooby-Doo <laughs> fruit snacks led me to thinking of not only the snacks that I'm missing from America. Sorry, lads. I, I have definitely grew out of cosmic brownies, man. It took a few months, but, you know, I forgot the exact term. It's like... Some sort of... Uh, uh, when, I come, when I find out what the term means, I'll let you know. But it's like food fixation or something. Alright. America, but of the very American snacks that I really miss from my childhood. Ritz bits. Me personally, the 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 cheese Ritz bits are my favorite, guys. All day, bro. My dad doesn't get them no more. Though. Specifically, and I know that everyone has certain foods that they're nostalgic for from every era. But as someone who grew up in the early 2000s, I have a special place in my heart for not just the taste of discontinued food. Oh, we grew up in the same uh, era, bro. Food of the time, but for how interesting and weird a lot of it was conceptually. Snack companies really went to some great lengths to invent entirely new items or to... Alright, let's go. Let's get to the next chapter, guys. We're, we're behind on time, so... I'm not gonna react to this full video. I knew I could always rely on a certain subgenre of snack foods to keep me entered. What? I don't even remember those, bro. Tained. Designed to be I mean, I've seen them, but fun to eat. baby bottle pop, one of my favorite snacks. Eat products in the where it's uh, quite dangerous to eat that. This subgenre had all I mean, not really, not really. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> so just sugar overload, really. <clears throat> of the best elements of a tactile toy in the form of an edible snack. Whenever I think of the marketing gimmick of food that you can play with, I always think of the various Betty Crocker fruit products and the many forms that they took. Whether you liked your 1% of act in a different package. Dang it, bro, she's adding too much of her commentary, man. Uh, I just want to, like, you know, I want an 8 minute video. It's easier for me to react to, but... They were all vaguely fruit related, though definitely not an actual fruit source, no matter what the carefully worded advertisement said, or how big the fruit heads in their TV commercials were. But most of all, a large part of what made them appeal- Alright, uh, we're gonna skip this part of it, because uh, we'll just go to the most replayed part. Less is more. Same could be said about stackers that fall under the same category and brand as the other different shaped fruit products, but I think- Bro, I didn't even know this was a thing. And I'd be totally down to try it, because I, I really liked fruit roll-ups, and my parents bought them all the time for me when I was growing up. Stackers? Anyone try stackers, guys? Let me know in the comments below. This product had even more of a disadvantage than only being too silly and fun shaped. The biggest gripe I had with this snack, even as a kid, and that I still think about now, is that it was clearly just fruit roll ups and marketed as such, but it was just less product. It never felt like enough to actually eat, and I don't know if I was an outlier, but I did not. Hey, hey, I agree, I agree. What are stackers, bro? <laughs> 
Yeah, too close to the sun. Best type of snack food that was the epitome of less is more and was more expensive because- All right, rehash them to go products, guys. Candy in general was always a big gimmick heavy market at the time, usually with a lot yeah. of products being just re- I mean, it, yeah, she is true. She is true. She is, she's right there. <laughs> They're just trying their new wild ideas. Nowadays, we just, yeah, we don't see that many wild ideas no more. Choking hazards. Nowadays, we'll just see like, you know, the Reese's, the Butterfingers, all that good stuff invented versions of existing candy and not even necessarily in new styles or new flavors but just the existing formula in a new oh shape. my gosh yo growing up with those oh my gosh those are so guys i gotta find out how, how to get those like shit to my house whenever i get my bag bro because those are so amazingly good this wasn't exactly a trope that's exclusive to the 2000s but candies like butterfinger bb's reese's bites those are good Hershey's kissables are stuck they're kissables, ugh. Butterfinger BBs, yes. I don't know why they discontinued those Reese's Bites. Uh, they're alright. Not my go-to. In my childhood memory as being just slightly altered versions of an original product that were also eventually discontinued. Though, at least they weren't just- Bring back BBs, bro. Bring back. We need to petition them, bro. Because, uh, and come on now. Putting holes in their candy and calling it a new invention. Unlike somebody. And these new, yeah. but not really new, candies were closely followed by the similar trend of revamping existing products into cool new to-go versions that were marketed as being great for lunchboxes or a quick- Yo, milk and cereal bars are look good though, man. Snack, though they usually just tasted slightly off and weren't necessarily any more travel friendly compared to the original. I remember when these Oreo dipping sticks were first introduced as a lunch. Oh my gosh, these are still a thing though. And I don't like them. I don't. Box staple, though they could easily be replaced by a much less involved actual Oreo cookie. And these Pop Tarts Go Tarts were, I guess, a slightly more convenient size, but they never taste. Those are decent. They have like the bite sized ones though. Those are good. Tasted quite right. So were they even worth it? I will say that grips were the outlier here. Oh man. Those little bags though, those are amazing snack thingies though, bro. I'd go with the middle one. Uh, not the other ones. All right, the, and then the one on the right next. One on the left, nah. Chips Deluxe, what is even that? Chips, chips Deluxe, bro? That's a brand? As they were- I thought, no Chips Ahoy? Or, guys, okay, okay. <laughs> Something's wrong with my memory here, man. A snack that somehow tasted better as tiny little pieces inside a shiny to-go pouch. Even more than on the go and rehashed snacks, though, I feel like the 2000s. Anyone else have like food uh, fixations like that where like one, one food tastes better in a certain package? Because it does for me, bro. I, I prefer those, man. Was the time for lots of different types of gum. I don't know what about the turn of the century made gum producers really start to take charge, but there was always some interesting and not like. Hey, you can still find some of these gums at the Dollar Tree. Maybe not. Maybe not at uh, every store, but they are good, kind of. The other gums product to try around this time. Sometimes it was. Yeah, right, let's get, let's skip to the Oreo spot part part, guys. She's explaining like what I what I how I grew up. That seemed to end. All right, let's see what kind of Oreos we got, man. But yeah, uh, it, it me personally, I would I would formulate this video differently. be produced. There was a trend sort of relative to the 2000s of giving everything a s'mores flavor. Oh, Shaq. Fish to cereal to crack. Shaq, that's all, that's all the milk you want. Come on now. I think Shaq. <laughs> and please, can someone let me know if they had these s'mores cookies specifically? Because oh. I dream about them often and I... I mean... No, they've been... You might not even like them. I only like the cheese filled ones, bro. Call me a rat all you want, but... <laughs> That's what I prefer. Been discontinued, but they deserve a proper remembrance. But Oreo didn't and doesn't still just flavor things in a sparse coating of cookie dust and call it a day. And I don't just mean the normal stuff like an ice cream flavor. Those are an L. Or even all of the questionable cookie varieties that exist. I'm. 
There's a lot. And hey, they're good to try. I'll try one. They got so many freaking flavors, man. I'm gonna go back to the store one day. Talking about the cakes, the straws, the dipsticks, the cereal, the caramel creams, and even the useless 100 <laughs> calorie depressing hexagons. And <laughs> Hey, some of us are on a diet, okay? Again, this is not a new phenomenon, nor do I think it will end anytime soon. Cookie popcorn? Like oh my goodness. About all of these snack food staples and Yo, that one right there, the caramel creams? Oh my goodness. Cone snap. Whenever the cone... Uh, back when I was young uh, and I saw the cones in store, I was like, yo, they got... Oh, the casers look amazing. Fun sticks. Fun sticks would go good with milk. Handy snacks. The, the the handy snacks Oreos should be discontinued right now. Oreo O's, I don't know. Oreo ice cream. Yeah. Without mentioning one of the, the sweetest fish Oreo, I'll give it a try. Most prevalent cookies with one of the most diverse candy canes, not really interested in snack portfolios. And Ghost Oreo. Oh my gosh. Wait, Shaq invented that? Oh my god. Okay, that's cool. And Oreos seem to be available almost anywhere you go. So whether I want to or not, it seems that I will be... A anyone didn't see the uh, International Foods TikTok? Because <laughs> they always be promoting foods be unable from Japan and stuff. Oh, those look good. Even when traveling thousands of miles between countries. So clearly there are some snacks I miss more than others. Whether All right, guys, that's our video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to see a full video, check out Dream Jello Burnt Pudding with Sprinkles in a Kid Cuisine. <laughs> I didn't, uh, guys, kid, kid Cuisine was a little bit more, uh, expensive for my taste. Uh, I went with Banquets, guys. Kid Cuisine was like $3 per pack. I ain't got no money for that. Alright, thank you for watching.